A 20-year-old woman, Gravita 2, Para 1, comes to the office for a routine prenatal visit at 35 weeks of pregnancy. She has had all routine prenatal care and has had an uncomplicated pregnancy so far. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step in management of her pregnancy? A. Glucose tolerance test. B. Blood type and screen. C. Culture sample for Streptococcus agalectae. D. Hematocrit level. Or E. Cervical cytology sample. The answer is C. Culture sample for Streptococcus agalectae. Group B Streptococcus is a major cause of neonatal sepsis. All pregnant patients should undergo a routine screening at 35 to 37 weeks gestation. If positive, they should be treated with appropriate prophylactic antibiotics during labor. Streptococcus agalectae is known to colonize the gastrointestinal tract and vagina in up to 45% of women. It can cause neonatal sepsis if it is transferred to the baby during delivery or in utero. If the patient is found to be positive for group B streptococcus, she should be treated with penicillin or a cephalosporin if she is allergic to penicillin. The rate of transmission for colonized mothers to infants without intrapartum antibiotic prophylaxis is 50%.